this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Skylanders Trap Team. I am about to try and uh, do Operation Troll Rocket, or Operation Steel Troll Rocket. And what I'm basically trying to do is steal a rocket, and uh, I reckon uh, there's going to be quite a lot of resistance. We've been having uh, quite a big uh, battle uh, with me and all of the, the Mabu uh, against all of the uh, the villains and the, uh, yeah, the, uh, the Googlies. And uh, in the last episode, I played as Cobra Kadabra, and I like Cobra Kadabra. It's actually a really powerful uh, Skylander, even though uh, it was only... Uh, uh, yeah, I only got up to, to level 4 with a Cobra, and also love the way it jumps. <laughs> but now, I'm going to switch over uh, to a brand new Skylander that I've never played as before, and that sp uh, Skylander is called Bat Spin. And this is a, uh, an undead one, and this is one which is supposed to be really powerful uh, with attack, uh, but not very good at pretty much anything else. It's a very offensive attacking one, and yep, that, uh, that looks about right. Oh look, it's firing bats! It's firing bats with uh, little googly eyes as well. <laughs> and uh, what else can it do? Oh! You can make all of the bats spin around like crazy. This one looks good. I uh, I understand now why she's um why she's called Bat Spin. <laughs> That's a uh, a very literal name for her. Anyway, we are about to go to this big area, and this doesn't look good, does it? This doesn't look friendly. The big open area and the rows with hatches with big skulls on. Um, hey, wish me luck. Well, wish Bat Spin luck. Be here to steal our super secret rocket. Oopsie. I probably shouldn't have told you about our super secret rocket. <sighs> but I guess it's no longer a secret anyway, as you can plainly see it right here. <laughs> Plus, you're too late. <laughs> oh no, this isn't good. This isn't good. We need to get that rocket before it takes off. Right, let's get this uh, Nilhog, or whatever his uh, name was anyway. And oh, looks like we got some grenades coming after us, some grinning grenades. <laughs> and uh, if you have grinny grenades, I have grinny grenades too, because I can go and turn into one. Then we can just both attack each other by blowing each other up. <laughs> right, let's go and use my, my duckling technique. Look, if I basically get a load of these bombs, and I can make them follow me, and then if they just go and run into enemies, it just takes them out. That is really effective, actually. That was uh, pretty awesome. Anyway, uh, let's try out that spin, though, because uh, I've not played as uh, as her before, and let's go and uh, see what she can do. So let's just try and uh, stay back and uh, shoot them them from range. Let's do the, the big spinny attack and uh, see what that does. It didn't seem to, to hurt them at all. I'm not sure what the uh, the big spinny uh, bad attack uh, actually does. When there's uh, a few more around me, uh, let me try using it again. And oh, okay. Well, that explains what these, uh, these hatches do, then. <laughs> they... Yeah, they're pretty uh, explosive, so I guess I pretty much uh, just want to stay back from them. And look, this one's staying up in this platform. Can I jump up here? Oh, look, I can. I can jump up to try and get to them. And let me try using my bat spin attack. Oh, it does seem to, to hurt them. And can they can they get me up here? No, they seem to just be watching me. Oh, no, but there's more coming behind me, though. <laughs> I thought I might have just found a really good tactic of just staying up there on that platform. Uh, but yeah, then they all just appeared behind me and ambushed me anyway. <laughs> and oh, that was very close then. That was very close uh, to be uh, getting hit by that that hatch. Right, let's go. Let's go and stay up here, then. And then that way, if I take out the ones uh, that appear up here, all of the other ones uh, won't really be able to, to do much against me. But, oh, can I can I reach that thing? Can I just keep shooting at it? Oh, I can. Uh, there's a big tank thing there, but I was pretty much able to destroy it. And look, that person's trying to throw these bombs at me, but he just can't reach me. <laughs> he just can't reach me while I'm up here. Anyway, I think I need to get a little bit closer to try and finish him off. And, oh... I need to be careful. I've not been uh, keeping an eye on those hatches when they're about to fire. So I want to make sure I keep a, a close eye on them uh, so I don't end up getting hurt. And all that bat spin does uh, quite a lot of damage, actually. And it sort of hurts everyone in a circle around me. So if I start getting surrounded, uh, then I can uh, uh, be able to, to easily uh, try and hurt everyone that is uh, surrounding me. And look what level I've got to. I've got to level 6 already. You know, I was talking uh, about uh, Cobra Kadabra and how I only got to, to level 4. That was after playing as him for almost 20 minutes in... Playing as this person for less than five minutes, I'm already level seven now. This person is leveling up super fast, and that uh, is absolutely awesome. She hasn't got any uh, money yet, because uh, none of these uh, googlies are dropping any money, uh, but uh, I was able to get lots of levels up, and oh, I saw that fire coming, uh, but the uh, the guy got in my, my way, so I wasn't able to uh, to avoid it. And oh, is he off? No, 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 I need that rocket. Oh, good, okay, he left the rocket. Oh, he got a jetpack out from, from the rocket. From now on, I will be known as... Threat Pack. The threat pack. <laughs> okay, sure. Oh, look, he's come down. He's come down after me. And all right, looks like uh, I need to not only dodge the fire, I need to dodge his missiles as well. But there's another tank there. Right, let's try Let's try going back up the, the top here, and let's see if his missiles can get me while I'm up here. Yep, they can. They most certainly can. And now I am getting hurt. The tank's going after me as well. This is getting a little bit dangerous. But I still think uh, staying up here might be uh, quite a good tactic, though. I'm still uh, able to, to avoid most of his attack. And uh, all of the, the fire uh, that comes out of those hatches are uh, unable to get me. And speaking of fire coming out the hatches. Here comes Sums right now, and I've not actually done uh, too much damage against him. So let me go and uh, try out 
uh, using this uh, bomb guy then. The problem with this is I need to get in really close in order to actually do any uh, good damage against him. I think that uh, using his other attack uh, won't be uh, won't be able to help me very much. Uh, but look, I've been able to take away uh, over half his health now. I think that a grenade uh, is even uh, stronger uh, than a bat spin. So let's try and uh, be the grenade guy and uh, try and get in uh, as close as we can. And if we can, uh, just try and trap him uh, so he starts getting hurt by the fire. And that's exactly uh, what happened there. And he is now on the ropes. Can I finish him off as bat spin? Probably two or three more hits and he's going down. Let's just go after him. Let's ignore his grenades and just go straight for, for him. And I was able to take him out. Goodbye, threat pack. And now hopefully I can capture him. He's a, a water a element, water apparently. He didn't seem very slippery, but <laughs> I'm sure that's a, I'm sure that's what he's uh, supposed to be. So let me go and uh, now go and try and grab my water trap. And uh, here it is. I'm going to place it into the uh, the portal. And uh, this should go and uh, capture him. And then I can use him in battle. Threat pack trapped. That was what I had assumed. So now I will use science for good and not evil? That sounds kind of weird to me. <laughs> yeah, please please be good now. Please be good now. I don't think everyone that uses a jetpack gets trapped either. That's not just the, the way it works. But anyway, I got myself a, a brand new villain and uh, Fred Pack uh, seems to be pretty decent. He seems to be pretty handy. The excellent display of arena combat skills. And now that we have acquired the rocket from the trolls, we can take it all the way up to the Sky Highlands. Gonna be a real hoot. Home to that, I have always wanted to fly in a rocket somewhere. That is one of the finer things in life, compadre. Right up there with playing ping pong or eating enchiladas. You like enchiladas too? I've got a mouth, don't I? Yay, I was able to get the rocket and I reckon I did pretty well here. Oh, look at this. Look at this, am I gonna free star it? Oh no, so close. I did all of that. I did all of that. But there was uh, two more hats to be found, really? Where were the other two? Because I, I did all the elemental gates, but there was another two hats hidden somewhere. I was so sure I was going to get three stars then. But still, that was uh, that was pretty impressive. That's uh, certainly uh, better than I than I normally do. And uh, we now got the rocket, so we can go and head up to the uh, the Sky Highlands and uh, try and get uh, all well, of the, uh, the gold. Got the rocket. Who's ready for a big trip up to the Sky Highlands? Uh, yeah, I hate to break it to you, but that place is rotten with air pirates. They're cruel, ruthless, and supremely evil! And that's their good side! Besides, if you think you can take on their entire armada with just one tiny ship, you're even crazier than he looks! Hate to say it, but he's right. It'll be too much for one ship. Plus, I do look pretty crazy. We figured you guys could use a little help. I salvaged some old flying machines from Skyland's past and got them ready for battle. I'd say we got ourselves a squadron. Now let's go take on some air pirates. Yeah. Yes, yes, woohoo. Sounds like it's gonna be fun. We've got a, a whole load of uh, airships and we can go and try and take out uh, some of the uh, some of the, the sky pirates. But uh, it's been uh, a little while uh, since I've really uh, explored uh, what's been going on uh, at the uh, at the academy. It keeps growing and changing and having uh, new things uh, appearing all over the place. Uh, so let's go and check some things out. Oh, there's the um, that's the uh, the hidden treasure I found. <laughs> I got myself the um, the flying statue and uh, there's the the weird bone guy who keeps wandering through here and leaving things all over the place. So uh, let's go and uh, grab some of these these jewels if we can and uh, let's go and say hello to to, to him. I always forget uh, what all of these. Uh, uh, people do and, and say and things. As this say, I think this is the uh, the musical thing. I think, yeah, I think, I think this is where I get to, to play songs. Oh, can I do one as chaos? Oh, let me do one as chaos. Oh, let me do a, a chaos song, please. And all, have I been through? Have I been through here? Before? Oh, I have. I have. I have been through this way. I remember this way. Right. Let's forget that. Let's go and uh, do a, a song as chaos. If you've not seen this before, it's a little bit like a Guitar Hero. If you've ever played that, or like Rock Band. Uh, basically, there's a uh, buttons that come up on screen, and uh, you need to press them as fast Scarlet as you can, Toad and uh, try and play them uh, through the uh, the tune. And seeing as I reckon I am amazing, I I consider myself an expert. You see, I've been playing this for a while, so let's see if I can play this like an expert. And oh, is chaos gonna be singing? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's cool to get on. Whoa, okay. Maybe I'm not an expert, right? Okay, that is, that is very difficult, actually. 
Seconds, 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 I got better, but not... No, okay, I'm, I'm not very good at this. I think I bit off a bit more than I chew. The, the ones I did earlier were pretty easy. This one seems pretty fast. Right, let's just try, let's just try and get into the room. I think if I just focus and kind of get in the groove, start bobbing my head a little bit, I might be able to do it. The other problem is, is that I normally play uh, the Xbox uh, rather than the, the PlayStation. Uh, so I'm not actually that good at uh, knowing um, which buttons uh, to press at the right time. But here we go. I can do this. I can just got to tap any button and I can do that. I can tap any button. I don't think I did it fast enough, <laughs> but I was able to at least get the, the buttons right. Right. Da -da 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 -da. Right, I'm, I'm gonna use, I'm using both hands now. I'm using both hands on the, the buttons, so hopefully that way I'll be able to do it better. There we go. Now I'm getting in a, a little bit of a rhythm here. It seems to be mainly uh, X, circle, and triangle, and uh, not square. So I've just kind of got a, a finger on each of the, the buttons, and hopefully that will make it better. There we go. Time seven. Da -da 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 there we go. Finally, by the time we got to the end of the song, uh, I started doing actually uh, okay. So uh, how did I do? Not too bad, actually. 87 out of uh, 104. Not as not as bad as I as I thought it would be. So uh, yeah, uh, I probably wasn't quite the uh, the expert uh, the expert I assumed I was going to be when I went in, but I didn't do uh, too shabby. So uh, that's uh, not too bad. Anyway, there was the um the guy uh, around here who I could speak to. I don't really have much spare money, uh, so I don't really. Uh, there's not many hats or anything I could buy while being batspin. Uh, but let's go and uh, speak to this big fella here. We just opened up a brand new arena for the Rumble Club. Wanna check it out? Ah, this is a, a new arena for the uh, the Rumble Club. Uh, I'm not going to do the uh, the arena right now, actually. I wanted to go and uh, carry on walking around. Well, actually, something that I could do is I could actually uh, upgrade Batspin. Tell you, that's what I will do. I'll upgrade Batspin, and uh, then I will go, and uh, I will do the uh, the new arena, which will get me a whole load uh, even more money, and then hopefully I can upgrade Batspin uh, even more. I actually think I'm going to play as... um. Batspin in the uh, the next episode as well uh, because I feel like I, I haven't had my uh, a, a full chance to play as her seen as we uh, completed the the level so early on. But anyway, look, if I press triangle, I can transform into a flying bat and I can go batty, <laughs> as it says. Press triangle to to go batty. I do sometimes go batty in real life as well, so this is a uh, this is quite fitting for me. I'll be <laughs> quite uh, in my uh, element. Anyway, I still got a, a thousand money left, so I could either buy this one, uh, which increases the number of bat pets, or I could buy both these two. Let's go and do both these two. This one. Uh, is called Healing Bite. I guess it means that my health goes up a little bit when my bats bite, I assume. I guess it's kind of a bit like a, like a vampire bat, I guess. And I do have uh, enough money uh, to go and do this one, uh, which is uh, pet bats last longer, do more damage, and are more aggressive. Overall, uh, three good uh, additions you want uh, when you have a, uh, an army of bats. So there we go. I was already uh, pretty powerful uh, as bat spin, uh, but I am now uh, that bit more powerful, and I can now do this. Woohoo! Oh, I'm huge! I'm a huge bat! I'm a huge bat! Now I can go around and bite, and uh, I can shriek <laughs> as well as a, a big bat. So now let's uh, go back to that fella. Oh, no! Oh, I turned to Fret Pack. I forgot about Fret Pack. I can play as him as well. This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun doing uh, some more combat then. So let's go and uh, speak to Brock. And uh, let's go and do the uh, the brand new arena, which he seems to be uh, very proud of. And uh, yeah, if you don't know what the arenas are, uh, they're basically kind of similar to what I uh, I just did uh, earlier. Let's go do let's go do the the last one then. Oh, this is the that launch pad. This is where we just were actually. So let's not do that one. So we've been there. Let's go uh, and do this uh, next one here, Dream Quake. And uh, let's go and uh, uh, do this one. And uh, I'll get a, a prize of uh, 800 gold uh, if I'm able to complete it. Uh, so yeah, these. Uh, kind of similar to what I did at the, the beginning of the game uh, where there's just basically uh, endless uh, googlies coming after you and uh, you need to try and uh, fight them off and uh, survive uh, for as uh, as long as you can. So uh, yeah, last time uh, I did okay. Uh, so it looks like I'm going in as a threat pack and uh, as bat spin. And uh, so yeah, I think that once uh, I'm in, uh, I'm not allowed to, to switch over and be a different Skylander. This is a clone challenge. My mage friend will occasionally drop a clone spell. If an enemy gets into this circle, they'll start cloning. And then you'll have to fight two of them! Where'd that time bomb come from? It wasn't Brock! Defeat the enemies before it goes off! Okay, well this sounds a little bit more interesting. So, uh, there's a, uh, some sort of wizard or something uh, that is going to be making, um, yeah, making a cloning circle. Oh, here it is! So this is a, uh, a cloning circle here. So if they get in that circle, uh, then that means they're going to start cloning. And there's also a time bomb. I don't know if this one's getting cloned. There we go. I was able to just about take it out. Yeah, so there's also a time bomb, and so if that time runs out, then the bomb's going to go off. So I need to, to make sure that I take them all out uh, before that happens. And let's go and use my bat spin move as they're all getting in close. There we go. I oh, know, did you see that? Did you see that my health went up a little bit there as well? I think that's the uh, the new upgrade I got. And oh, the world's getting all pulled apart. Right, let's go and 
gonna turn into the, the flying bat then, and let's go after them. Oh look, I think when I bite them as the bat, that actually brings my, my health up a little bit. Did you see that? Every now and then you can just see my health going uh, up a little bit, which is uh, very handy because uh, there's no uh, other places on here uh, where I could uh, really get my health up. The only other real way I could get my health up uh, is by uh, leveling up. Once you get uh, enough experience, uh, you become a, a new level, and uh, that actually uh, allows you to get your health back up. And I'm actually uh, quite close uh, to becoming a, a new level already, so hopefully I can do that pretty soon because I am getting pretty hurt. Let's go and try and grab this experience if I can. Is my level going to go up? Not quite. I think I need to take out a few more of these uh, googlies, but there we go. See, my health went up a little bit more as, uh, as well then. This is uh, probably just about keeping me alive, to be honest, because otherwise I might not be dead. But look how close I am. Right, let's go and just switch over uh, to fret pack. And uh, let me stay as fret pack until I'm able to, to get to the, the next level. Because uh, you can't level up as the, uh, the villains. Uh, if I got a level, uh, it would go to, to bat spin. And what's going on now? I didn't hear what it said. Did I do it? Is that it? Or is this just, no, that was just stage one. Okay, I, I thought that was a little bit too easy. And oh, there we go. I was able to, to grab a pizza, and uh, that's put my food folly up. Uh, but i got to be careful because they have the uh, the little cloning circle here. So I want to make sure that no one uh, gets in the, the cloning circle because there's uh, there's enough things for me to, to face already without them cloning themselves. I don't know, once cloning himself, can I go and take him out? There we go. I think I was just about uh, able to take it out uh, before it started cloning. To be fair, though, it was only the uh, the little chompies, and uh, the little chompy guys actually aren't that deadly. So <laughs> if something was going to clone, uh, that wouldn't be the, uh, the worst thing. Uh, in the, the world to clone, but this would be, oh no, there's a bird over here cloning, I need to try and take it out before it clones, oh no, no, it's doing it, it's done it, it's cloned, it's cloned, there's now more of them coming after me, that is not good, that is not what I need, and you can see that there's the time bomb uh, still uh, ticking down, uh, there's a little timer in the, uh, the top left of the screen, and I've got uh, just over uh, a minute and a half uh, to try and take out all of these people, so I can't just run away and hide, I need to be running in and uh, trying to hurt them as much as I can, but luckily, uh, there is an orange pool over there, and so if I do get too hurt, I can just run back and grab that, and uh, get my health fully up, uh, which is going to be able to, to help me out quite a lot. So I think I'm just going to leave it there until I, uh, I really need it, until I start getting really hurt. But it looks like uh, we've got a, uh, another cloning circle. Hey, did you see that guy there? Did you see that brawlrus? <laughs> just fell right off the side. But oh no, oh no, look, oh no, it's cloning, it's cloning. Let's try and hurt it. Let's try and hurt it. Nope, it was able to clone. It was able to clone. That's not good. And oh no, there's a broccoli guy as well. Uh, the broccoli guy actually heals uh, all of the uh, the googly. So that's not going to be uh, very helpful to me. Let me go and uh, try and take out this broccoli guy as quickly as we can. We do not want the broccoli guy to clone himself. There we go. He was stuck in the little cloning circle and I was able to take him out. Actually, Actually, the cloning circle uh, can actually sometimes act uh, as quite a, uh, a good distraction. So they're all running into the circle and uh, they're all trying to clone themselves. And uh, while they're distracted, I just go and take them out. So as long as uh, they don't actually get cloned, uh, the uh, circles aren't too bad. But it looks like uh, there's going to be uh, more cloning circles uh, constantly appearing. So I am going to try and uh, just make sure no one gets into it. This guy's going for it and it seems like quite a tough guy. Can I get him? There we go. I was able to, to take him out. Uh, but they're all spawning all over the place now. They, they kind of just get dropped in all over the place. And there's some bombs chasing after. Me. I was just about able to avoid them. I reckon that each wave uh, is going to get harder and harder and harder. But uh, luckily, uh, the time uh, reset uh, per each stage. So you see that my time went back up uh, when I started this stage. At least I'm not constantly running out of time. It'd be really annoying to get all the way to like the last stage and then just the time runs out immediately because I did really rubbish on the, the early one. At least at least I get a, a fresh start every time uh, in case uh, something does go wrong and uh, I don't do as well as I, I was doing earlier. Because Batspin, I only have been playing as for this video. Normally, I, I play as a, a character for a while and, uh, you know, gradually build them up. You know, but Batspin, I've only been playing as her in this episode here. So uh, the fact that she's lasted uh, for this long and uh, been uh, doing really well uh, is quite impressive. Uh, she seems to be uh, a pretty powerful uh, Skyland. And it's nice uh, to have a threat pack in my back pocket as well. As if she does get hurt, I can switch over and uh, try and do a bit of damage. So what does he actually do? I've not really looked. He kind of, like, does this little burst where he bursts up from the ground. And then he also just fires all of his uh, his normal missiles as well. But luckily, uh, there's an orange pill there. So I'm able to get my food up. Oh, no, no. The Brawlers is going. He's going to try and get cloned. Quick, take him out. Quick. Take him out, shoot him, shoot him. Oh no, he's really tough. He's really tough. I can't let him get cloned. And oh no, he got cloned. He got cloned. Okay, this is bad now. I've only got a minute left on the clock. I only have a minute left uh, to try and take out all of these people, and I can't switch to another Skylander either. Oh no, I've only got 40 seconds left. There we go. I was able to take out the Brawlers, but there's a broccoli guy in the cloning thing now. I need to take him out before he clones himself. And oh no, I wasn't able to do it. He cloned himself, and there's only 30 seconds left. That time bomb's going to go off. All right, let's go and just switch over to, to Fret Pack and try and get him to do some damage. There's this really big guy here. I've only got 30 seconds left on the clock. I am a little bit panicking now. I am, well, I'm not a little bit panicking. I am a lot panicking. Did I do it? Oh, I just about did it. That was, that was a little bit closer than I, I would have liked. That was, um, I was a little bit scared then. I, I won't lie. So, uh, hopefully the, uh, the, the bomb's gonna reset. Oh, did I do it? 
I did it! You beat this arena level, Monster Multiplier! That was really good fun, actually. That was a, a quite a, a good, cool twist. I do need to uh, to hopefully play those uh, arenas more often. Well, let me know. Do you want to, to see me doing more of the, the arenas and the uh, the chaos challenges? Uh, because I always enjoy doing them, but I don't know whether you'd rather just see me play through the story. So it's up to you. Uh, leave some comments down below and uh, vote uh, for what you'd uh, prefer for me to do and uh, whatever I see uh, the most comments for. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. So I'll either uh, do a lot more of the, the arenas uh, or I, I won't. And I'll basically just carry on playing uh, through the game as I have been. Uh, but sadly, uh, we have just about run out of time in this episode here. So as I said, in the next episode, I think I'm going to play as a uh, bat spin again, uh, just because I feel like, uh, uh, even though I have uh, battled with her for quite a while, I feel like there's uh, quite a lot more uh, to see with her, and I want to give her time to shine. Actually, what I could very quickly do uh, is go over here and uh, see if I can get a, a new upgrade for her. I think I can, yeah. I've got a, a thousand money now, so I should definitely be able to get one. I can get a, uh, oh yeah, I can get the one, uh, which is, uh, increases the uh, the amounts of bats I have, and I can even now be better at summoning pet bats, or stronger when I am a bat. Let's do that one. That one seems more fun, so I can be stronger uh, when I transform uh, into a, a bat now. So, uh, yeah, I'll be able to get a, a bunch more uh, abilities that we'll hopefully see uh, in the next episode. Uh, so there'll be a link to that in the description once it's online. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!